Look at the paint on the car. Too much rim make that ride too hard. Those lyrics are brought to us by our good friend Tyga. 2012 was just an entirely different time, man. It really kind of brings a tear to my eye. Like, remember when the world was supposed to end? We would have gone out in a ball of fire list in Rack City and Thrift Shop. Anyway, does he have a point? Does too much rim, in fact, make the ride too hard? When it comes down to the wheels that we put on our cars, are larger wheels better, like everyone thinks they are, or do you sacrifice the quality of your ride when going with a larger wheel? Well, well, well. Lucky enough for you, you have come to the right place, ladies and gentlemen, because that's exactly what we are going to be covering on today's episode of Myth or Fact. Real quick though, before we dive into the nitty gritty of today's episode, if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what else I can do. I mean, unless you really want, you know, the fitment industry's curse. And you don't want the Fitment Industries curse because the only way to fix that is carry Serge Elfrey up the mountain and make him drink. And I'm one big boy, so you definitely don't want to do that. Other than that, don't forget all about the wheels, tires, and suspension, all available over at FitmentIndustries.com, where not only you can pick out, you know, just wheels and everything separate, but you can get the wheels and tires packaged together and they come all nice and stacked really nicely. So you can just throw them on your car and you don't have to pay for, you know, the Mount Basel shipping. We got that covered for you free charge. Anyway, getting into what we are actually here to talk about and learn about what effect do larger wheels have on your vehicle and can it hurt the ride quality of your car? When we're talking about larger wheels, you can be referring to either diameter, width, or in most cases, both. Typically, when you pick out an aftermarket set of wheels to swap out for your stockers, you're going to be upsizing both your width and your diameter of the wheel. Typically, if your stock wheels are 17s, you're probably gonna be going with 18s. If they're 19s, probably gonna be going with 20s. However, some people like to go a little bit further and upsize their wheels a few sizes past the stock setup. Typically, this is all done in the name of fitment, performance, or just overall looks. By going with a wider wheel, for instance, you can get some more grip because it allows for a wider tire. By going with a larger diameter, it helps fill up the wheel arches a little bit more. All things that we know and love about aftermarket wheels, right? But can there be a downside of going with a larger wheel and how big is too big? The simple answer to that question is yes, there can be some downsides depending on exactly what you go with. If you were to follow a general rule of thumb, you can imagine that increasing the size of something like wheels, for instance, that you run on your car would also increase the things like wheels weight, for instance, which can be true. However, in the world of aftermarket wheels today, a lot of companies and a lot of brands are focusing on bringing lightweight wheels to the market through things like rotary forging and fully forging their wheels. These allow for larger sizes like the 20s and the 21s to come in even lighter than the stock wheel sizes. It's something that we've took into huge consideration when developing our own wheel brand, Artists of Wheels. Wheel weight matters and it impacts a ton of things. When you have a heavier wheel, you have more rotation rotational mass, which can make the car feel sluggish, both in acceleration and braking. It just kind of feels a little bit off. It's known as unsprung weight. And when you're looking at the performance of your vehicle, you want to minimize as much of that unsprung weight as possible. Like I said, today's technologies of aftermarket wheels have been able to combat this very well and still allow you to upgrade your wheels to a larger size, but come in at a light weight. And like I mentioned before, even lighter than stock. However, not all companies are alike. Not everyone takes weight in into consideration and you can easily end up with a big heavy wheel but this isn't the biggest issue when it comes down to what we're talking about here when we're talking about how does it really affect your ride quality i mentioned before too that some people like to go past upsizing the one step and they like to go two three six eight ten steps above that when they switch to aftermarket wheels particularly in the diameter. This is where the idea that larger wheels ride rough or provide a harsher ride really comes into play. I mean, when you start looking at your 22s, your 24s, your 26s and 30 inch wheels on vehicles that were originally rocking like 18s, you only have like so much room to fit something in the wheel well, which can only mean one thing. You have to make that room somewhere else. You have to take something away. And you know what nine times out of 10 people are gonna do? You probably guessed it. They're gonna downsize their tire. And there it is. The biggest reason why a lot of people get the understanding that a larger diameter wheel can ride worse 
When you have to sacrifice the size of your tire, especially in the aspect ratio, this is where you will really experience a harsher ride. Your tires are what connect you to the road. And even though your suspension is reliable for keeping your happy little ass comfy cruising down the road, your tires are the first point of contact to the surface and it's going to play a huge impact on the ride quality and comfort as well. When you take a wheel and tire combo that had a tire that was, you know, like this thick and then your new one has a tire that's like this thick, you can start to see, you know, why your back might be a little bit sore. If you take a look at the high risers and the donks, the ones rolling around on the 30s, they're running on rubber bands. 255, 30, 30, that is a real Lexani tire size. But you know what? Those guys, they don't care. They're having the time of their lives. They all have the biggest smile on their faces. They're looking down on us peasants as they roll by and they're Impala on some 30 inch wheels. The fact of the matter is that there's always a happy medium and it always comes down to what you want and expect out of your wheels and your tires and the ride quality of your car. Performance guys are going to go after performance. People who daily drive their car are probably going to go rely on more of the comfort side of things. And people who are all about looks are gonna pay to play the game and deal with a little bit of a harsher ride. So let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and let us know if you've accidentally ever gone with too small of a tire or too big of a wheel in that sense. And instantly regretted it. Let us know down in the comments below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget wheels, tires, suspension, fitness, I'm Gels. We'll see you later. Peace.